My P5 class, I know you are still watching and you are still learning right from your sitting room. I just want to ask you to pay maximum attention and don't let anything distract you because today I have come with a new topic and this topic is none other than measurements is none other than measurements. So we are going to learn about measurements, okay? So before we go any further, I want to ask you, together do we move to our exercise that we did last time and we see where we failed. One, state anyone where you can keep the digestive system in a proper working condition and that is by feeding on a balanced diet. Two, how are refugees important in the digestive system? Refugees prevent constipation. Refugees prevent constipation. Why should one wash hands before eating food? Why should one wash hands before eating food? To remove germs. What is the danger of eating dirty fruits? Danger of eating dirty fruits what is the danger of eating dirty fruits? Yeah. When you eat dirty fruits, one can get diseases. Um, let's move on to measurements. Before we look at measurements, we shall look at uh, the meaning of measurements. What is to measure? To measure is to find out how heavy, light, long, short, wide, or tall something is. That is to measure, to just find out how long, big, small, large, how something is. There are very many ways to describe measure, okay? So let's look at the terms that are used in measurements. One, there is length. Length is the distance between two points. Length is the distance between two points. Like, look at your table. This end part and the last part, the other part. The, that distance which is between the two points is what we are calling length. Now, we have another one called mass. What is mass? Mass is the quantity or amount of matter in an object. Amount of matter in any object. And what is weight? Weight is the force of gravity acting on any object. Weight is the force of gravity acting on any object. And what is volume? Volume is the space occupied by an object. A space occupied by any object. Like you, where you are seated, you have occupied that space. That space, I'll give it the name as, I'll give it a term as volume. Then we have area. Area is the space occupied by a figure. Let's say which figure? A square, a triangle, a rhombus. You know, you know other figures that you... So that space which is they occupy, the space that they occupy, they occupy what we call area. Now... Somebody will confuse uh, volume with the area. With the volume, an object. The space occupied by an object. Then area, it is just a figure. Let it be a rectangle. Let it be a square. What it occupies, where it is sitting, is called area. Look at buoyancy. Buoyancy is the force that makes objects weigh less when placed in water than in air. What am I meaning? Some of us go for, for swimming, and when the moment you dive in the, into the swimming pool like this, the water pushes us up, and you feel the legs cannot step on the, on the ground, where the, in the ground part of the swimming pool. And what force is that that pushes you up? It is what you call a buoyance. Another name for buoyance is upthrust. So that force, when it pushes you up, or it pushes an object up, 
that object will start weigh, weighing less. They will start weighing less. Then we have another term called capacity. Capacity is the amount of liquid a container can hold. A container can hold. Let's look at another, uh, another thing that is basic units in measurements. Basic units. When you are measuring something, what do you use? What do you use when you are measuring something? Uh, well, the, the units. Like when you are measuring length, what do you use? One, we length is measured in meters. However, there are other, there are other, other units used to measure length, like kilometers, centimeters. But the basic unit is meters. Then the area that is square units. Area is measured in square units. Then volume. Volume is measured in cubic units. It's measured in cubic units. And then weight. Weight is measured in newtons. And it is abbreviated as N. It is abbreviated as N. Capital letter N. Then mass. There is mass. Mass is measured in grams. There is a, uh, mass is measured in grams, and grams is abbreviated with either G or GM. The one which is abbreviated with G ends with S. The one which is abbreviated with GM ends with EM, e -E -E -S. It ends with ES. And the one which is ends with ES is American English. The one which ends with MS is, sorry, uh, the one which is, which is the, which ends with ES and, uh, is abbreviated as GM and that is British English. The one which is uh, abbreviated as G and ends with MS, that is American English. So, but we take all. However, for us, we were colonized by the British. Therefore, we take the one for British GM. Let's look at... Another one is density. Density is measured in grams per cubic centimeter. Grams per cubic centimeter. And then the capacity is measured in liters. And liters is abbreviated as L. And then we have length. What is length? Once again, length is the distance between the two points. Now, what are they saying next? Length is the distance between two points. So the units for measuring length, one is kilometers. We are beginning from top to bottom, to the last one. The, the, the longest one is the kilometers. Then we have hectometers, decimeters, decameters, uh, meters, de, uh, de, decimeters. Then we have centimeters and then millimeters. But we remain, I'm remaining, uh, I'm, I'm going to say that all of them, all of these units can measure, can measure length, but the basic unit remains meters. So, uh, what are the items that are used for measuring length? One, we have those that are, that are made locally, the traditional items and those that are modern items. What are these traditional items that we can use? One is hand span. Hand span. You can say, you can say, one, two, three. Those are hand spans. Strides. Strides. You move. One, two. Okay. Strides, we are, we are making strides. Yardsticks, you can also use the sticks and the, you, you count the length of somewhere, of a, of a, place, a given place. Strings, you can use a string also, locally made. We have the feet, you can count the feet like that as you count. Then the, the modern ways or modern items that are made from factories, industries, we have tape measures. We have tape measures. 
They have meter rulers, like the one we use in the class to draw lines on the board. We can also use foot rulers, okay? Those are some of the items that are used for measuring length. Now, using a tape measure. This one that we are seeing, this gentleman is holding, is called a tape measure. It is called a tape measure. So others, we can use a tape measure but they, to measure the length, but here they are showing us that this is a foot ruler. This is a foot ruler. Then uh, hand strides. Then uh, we have a uh, foot to strides. Those are strides that we were talking about. Then the finger strides that we call the hand spans. Then we have measuring tape or tape measure. Uh, my activity here is define the, define the following terms, gravity, length, volume. Then the two, write down the SI units for measuring the following one, weight, mass, and density. What is SI in the full? Standard units. They want standard units for measuring those ones. Then another one, number three, you name the force that makes objects weigh less in fluids, when placed in fluids. Then another one that I want you to stand up and do for me at this time, you are going to measure the length of the following items in your home using any local material, whether you use the foot, the strides, the, the, hand, the, the hand strides, the foot, the, or the feet, the yardsticks. You stand up and start, re, you, 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 you are going to, let me repeat the whole question. Measure the length of the following items in your home using any local item and the tape measure. You can use any local item and the tape measure. Record the results properly because I will come and ask you what you recorded. Then another one is, the, uh, the, the, the which parts are which which places are you going to find? You are going to, to to measure the dining table, the length of a dining table. How long it, it, is it? Okay. Then two, you are going to look at your house. How long? Uh, how what's the the, the 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 length of your 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 what? I'm not meaning the height because you might fail to climb up. I'm just meaning the where the ground where it is sitting. What is its length? Then in the tablecloth, I know you have tablecloths at home. They are even there as you, as you are seated watching this, this lesson. I know you, are, you have a, a table which has a tablecloth. Therefore, measure its length. Another one is your science book that you are using now. Measure its length and I come and then we see what we do, what you have done. So with that, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. I just want to encourage you to continue uh, learning with us and get something from what we, are, we always learn. I want to thank you very much.